What's up YouTube? So today we've got some hydraulic work to do. We're going to be replacing the hoses on this hydraulic top link because the fitting on, I believe it was this one right here, failed and started leaking. So as a result of that, these guys got to be replaced. Um, it should be fun because we're dealing with NPT fittings, which suck. But they're inexpensive, they're fairly reliable if you seal them correctly, and uh, well, they work well, but they, uh, they only really go together once, otherwise, for the most part, they, they... I'll get into it in a bit. But I need some coffee, we're going to get started in just a minute, um, let's try not to break something and actually fix something today. Welcome back. So to start this, we're going to go ahead and remove the hoses from the cylinder. We're going to put the new hoses on and get them loosely tightened. We're going to go back out to the tractor. We're going to identify how we're going to clock the 90 degree fitting here so that we get it so that it plays nicely. If you saw the, the earlier footage of the leak, um, essentially these guys are going to twist in a way that, and, and to get this lined up so that it matches correctly with the, uh, the what's it called? with the spool on the rear of the tractor, it'll make the transition for the hoses a lot better. Uh, but regardless, uh, let's get these apart. So these fittings on the cylinder themselves are called orb or O-ring boss fittings, um, which means they don't have a lot of tightness and they're, they're fairly easy to loosen. Uh, that's why I don't mind using an adjustable wrench or a hammer, depending on what you guys refer to them as, uh, to loosen them up because that way, once they're loose, they just basically come apart and it's fairly painless. The other fittings on the top end uh, do require a little bit more effort um, because they are NPT fittings, which the other fittings on the other side are NPT fittings, which is what came with the uh, kit. And I decided to stay with them because I used a restrictor uh, flow uh, fitting in there to slow the flow down on these. Um, but the MPT fittings, essentially, once they're together, because of the way you bring them together, it actually distorts the threads, and they do not like to go back together or come apart. Um, so they're almost a once-and-done type thing. Meanwhile, the orb or O-ring boss, which is what you see here, um, these can come apart and go together pretty much as many times as uh, that gasket will last. Um, the gasket itself is Bunna M, uh, Bunna N, one of the two. Um, normal rubber gaskets will actually end up breaking down and falling and failing in the uh, hydraulic system with exposure to the hydraulic oil. So make sure that if you are doing stuff with O-ring boss, you're using the correct gaskets. Right now I'm loosely installing the new hoses into the hydraulic top link. I'm going to take that top link, put it on the tractor, and that way I can properly orient the 90 degree fittings for the rear outlets without having the hoses too twisted up when they're finally installed. And like I said, just these are going to be just tight enough so that they don't fall out. There's a mouse in the corner. Or a snake. I found a snake in here once. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go out to the tractor. I'm going to mount the top link in its position. And while it's there, I'm going to go ahead and put these fittings, they're the 90 degree elbow fittings, which make it easier to connect it into. However, once they get certain to, to a certain point of tightness, this stops swiveling. And I want to make sure that this is lined up in a way that the hose isn't going to be twisted awkwardly when it's connected. So what we'll do is once we figure out the correct orientation for it, we'll draw a corresponding line on this fitting and on there and that will allow us to know where it needs to be when we actually get it into its final locked position. But uh, this should be pretty easy, and let's go out to the tractor and do it. All right, so we're back at the tractor, and we've got fitting number one. And as you can see, where this is why this is helpful, because 
if, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and try to lock this in there. If, for example, it's locked like this, now I've got to twist this hose like that to get it in there. But if it's unlocked, this can be a nice, comfortable fit right there. And that looks good right there. So that. I did spend a bit of time with them as a pair to make sure that everything worked out well when they were finally connected. For that sure angle I like, that's what we're going with. So we'll go ahead. And work that one. So we're good there. Sorry, talking with a pen in your mouth isn't very productive. And this one is off by a little bit. I like it. Right there. And you. And you. So now when we get back inside and we get these guys lined up, we will have what we need to get connected. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, we're here at the vise. Time to assemble these guys so that they're oriented correctly. Uh, the only thing that we haven't really covered is the uh, thread locker sealant. Uh, this is the stuff I use, it's Vibratite. Uh, I get it from boltonhooks.com, it's under the hydraulic section. Uh, great stuff, it's worked really well, and it's reasonably priced. Other options are Loctite. Um, I don't remember the specific, uh, I'll put it in the I'll hyperimpose it right there. Um, what it is. So the key here is to get this set up so that we can properly tighten it. Just need to make sure that doesn't turn. And again, so there's the blue line. Hopefully you guys can see it. And the intent is to tighten this on so that they line up when we're done tightening. However, we need thread locker. So I got my one inch wrench fitting. Let's go ahead and get some of this thread locker on there. And we can get this done. As far as how much to use, yeah, I like to get it all the way around at least, even though it's going to be carried by the by the threads as they seal. But, so there's my blue lines. It's starting to get tight. Now they're lined up, but I don't want them to move. So I'm using the other wrench to hold it in place so that it doesn't move. And the vise, my third hand, is holding the, the hose. And that is a lot of muscle in there. So this has to sit for 24 hours. Um, however, we're gonna go ahead and finish assembling this, which means I need my restriction fitting. Which I have somewhere. Here it is. Here is my restrictor fitting. This is a one-way, sorry, two-way fitting where essentially that little hole will restrict flow in both directions so it does not matter which side it goes on. And if I can get that off, I will. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put these on. These uh, covers are fantastic. They are also from bolt-on hooks. Uh, again, in the hydraulic section. Thread sealant on here. Go 
because I can't get underneath of it. Just gonna loosely tighten it, come back, make sure it's all the way around and it is. Because these don't have an orientation, it doesn't matter which way they line up. Um, because I don't want to put too much torque on the, uh, what's it called? On this joint, I'm going to go ahead and use this to restrain myself from applying torque there. And this really is just a matter of going tight. Need to get a smaller wrench. should be tight enough. And the last thing we need to add to this is our male quick disconnect. Which, let's make sure we have the right size wrench. Here. Too small, looks like it's one and a sixteenth. Yep, one and a sixteenth. Let's go ahead and throw some more thread locker. That guy there. process is so much easier when you have a vise. Alright, so that is one down and it's nicely clocked. So let's go ahead and get the other one done. So there you have it, two hoses properly clocked. Uh, let's go ahead and put that cylinder back together and then in 24 hours we can watch it work. We're back. And this guy is, uh, well, should be good to go. I haven't tested it yet, so we'll find out together. Um, it's set for about 48 hours to allow the uh, hydraulic sealant to seal. So. Uh, Let's start it up, see if it works, and then we can uh, call this task finished. Here we go. Working the air out of the system. I don't see any leaks. Thanks for watching. Always a uh, university dog thinks you are. Bye everyone.